what's poppin it is your boy tj welcome back to another video yes your boy is dropping in one every three days and like i say on a day-to-day -day basis like subscribe and hit that bell notifications because you want to stay in the loop with all of the forex content dropping on this channel i've got some big things planned within the up and coming months for this channel and yeah you don't want to miss out but today's video is going to be a gold analysis you know the video that i uploaded a few days ago absolutely popped off we have like 80 plus likes the comments were going mental i have to do another one and we caught gold buys 1763 this was it come all the way down to the bottom of the support at 1763 and it's amazing when i show you this on the chart it's insane what it did but when you see it you understand how it moved and why it moved that way but we got buys at the very bottom of the support like usual as i say you gotta be smart it's basically called smart money trading you know you the wick outs you've got to look out for the wick outs you know you got to understand with trading that there's always levels and it's always going to go to a certain level you know you never buy at the very top because it could pin off impulse and go bearish as an example but i will show you that right now but if you are new and you are trading this week in bip starting monday because i'm actually recording this on the saturday when it's going to be uploaded tonight i'm going to be doing all vip signals purely for ftmo i'm going to be live streaming as well a 100k account on stream on twitch.tv slash it's tjfx make sure to check it out link in the description as well go follow we're starting monday all live on stream as well and obviously the vip bot is down below too but without further ado let's go baby a few moments later yes what is good back on the charts now obviously a lot of people are probably wondering how you actually trade gold now i just wanted to say with my actual strategy it's a bit like the smart money strategy where i try my best to trade with the banks and what i mean by this is i don't enter any mid rate mid I don't enter any mid entries on gold. I don't, if, say if it's channeling uh, in, in a channel just like this right here, a lot of consolidation, I wouldn't enter anything right now because it wouldn't be a good entry. And what I mean by this is, if you're entering in the mid level range, you know, you could get whipped out the top or the bottom. And please, 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 if you're trying to get into gold or, um, you know, you're on your phone and you're a beginner or anything like that, please do not enter gold in the mid levels because that's how you lose and when looking at this trade i've been trading gold a lot recently this was a vip trade this is an exact trade that we actually took in vip and obviously as you saw tp1 tp2 and closed tp3 but it did actually hit tp3 now i'm gonna obviously talk through the process of it because i was saying gold to the 1800s now we see price respect it because it couldn't break 1797 and it made it it made literally one two three three times it tried to bake pulled back collected orders and now now you're thinking it can't break it can't break here it's tried to break it's come up and then a huge bearish engulfing candle and i now see gold as this candle right here marked up on the screen the 1763 this wick out right there that is a support candle. Now, if I'm trading gold, I can see that gold has actually been on the uptrend for such a long time since coming all the way down to the bottom of the daily high, daily low, sorry, at 1678. It's come all the way up and I've failed to break at the top. So you see, it's gonna have to do a massive pullback in order to then go back up. And that's just what the markets do. You need to look out for the lower highs and the higher highs because that is basically the whole point in market direction so you see the bearish engulfing candle at 1793 as it failed to break the 1797 you see that happen and you see it channel you see a channel right here making a channel can't actually break you know collecting orders consolidating all that good stuff you don't want to enter into the market now i'm thinking you know it's not gonna go up here because even though you see the previous lower highs on the screen right here you see all these lower highs, you, you can't be faked out by that because it has previously failed to break through the 1797 and it's gone on the bearish engulfing. Now, you're, you're thinking it's still going to come down and this is why I pointed out it's lower high right here. That, that lower high here and this right here at 1760 are the two targets in gold that I'll be saying price will come down to that level, collect and then push up because we're still in the uptrend. Always keep that in your mind. But you've got to make sure when you enter this trade that you're not gonna get wicked out you're not gonna get stopped out and you want to get the perfect entry it's all about timing 
market. That's all the market is. About market direction and timing. And you need to be smart. I'm going to play it here just so we can speed this up and what actually happened. But you see price starting to break below. Where does it break below? The 1763 previous lower high of the wick rejection where it wicked out and then went all the way up to 1797 and we can see that right here and that was the target you're looking you're looking very very detailed you know you're, you're not looking at the noise that the market's making here you're not thinking it's going to go up here because it still hasn't done its big it bit a bigger pullback the banks still want to pull that back they want to they want to believe that people are thinking it's going to go long here that isn't where it's going to go long you know this is just consolidation period where it's going to continue on the downtrend and as you can see it wicked out and it made a bullish engulfing candle where the buyers just took over completely and as shown here you know multiple times looking at gold right now it is just going up and up smashing take profit one take profit two and this is where you need to hold your nerve right here because what's happened okay ladies and gentlemen boys girls on the graph i just want to show you this 1790 has been hit take profit three actually got hit but we closed we closed on around this candle right here because it was at the top of the previous highs of the consolidation period where I didn't want it to sell off. So as soon as we saw it actually take out the 1790, which was, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, a previous level of resistance right here. That is why I set them as my target. So if, if you're looking into the market and you set your take profit once a certain previous you know, resistance or support, certain lower highs, certain bodies you know that's how you set your take profits and that's exactly what i did because in the end of the day the reason why i said take profit is because i think it's going to hit it and then it will reverse what did it do what did it do ladies and gentlemen boys and girls it hit 1790 tokyo session skadoosh all the way down to 1756 where's 1756 back on multiple multiple resistance levels here at 1754 you know back in back in march you know one two top resistance so what's it doing it's making the resistance back in march now the support in april going into may that's why i believe gold's still going to go up on the uptrend and if you actually see gold we call these in vip funny enough but we also bought in here as well and we call the buyers and this is what i wanted to say like the whole point in trading is that you've got to look out for the lower highs you've got to look out for resistance and support but you've also got to trade smart you've got to be smart in the markets and what i mean by this is obviously you can't enter mid-level you've got to understand how it moves price pulled up pulled back touched support gone all the way up touched the top of the resistance failed to break multiple times now we're going to go back down because it needs to collect orders to for it to go back up or to break structure and go bearish now that's exactly what it did it collected orders failed to break the previous highs drop price on the bearish engulfing price consolidated for gold but we know it hasn't collected orders at the bottom of the support which is what we're looking for so what do we do we wait if we want to get buyers you're patient you wait for it you set alerts as you can see i've got alerts set all the time i set them at the bottom of the support and on top of the resistance and yeah you get an entries here 1790 previous high of resistance because it's gone bearish yes it's at the bottom and it's collected and price will push up but who knows if we can go and break through 1800 so the take all the take profits are here as shown on the screen and then what do we do we wait to see what happens with price now price absolutely sells off you get you could get buy entries here you know as soon as it wicks out the previous 1759 on the 16th of april because that's where price pushed up and then pull back a teeny bit and then impulse it back on the bullish engulfing and and back on the uptrend so you, you're thinking it's gonna wick out here at some point at some point it will wick out because you know that you got people still holding gold here you've probably got people you know holding gold everywhere you know what i mean like they're just trying to get the best entries so this wick out say if you bought gold here and you're like I've got the best entry. I've got the best entry ever. I'm just going to hold this trade. You know, I'm going to swing it all the way to the 2000. But the markets are smart, man. The banks aren't stupid. They are coming for your SLA entry. And that's exactly what it did here. If 
you want to join the Discord, you know, we've got a Forex community channel on there. We've got loads of people. I think it's like over 600 people now in the Discord. Get yourself in. You can speak to all the traders in there. Speak to VIP, people who are beginners, people experienced. We've got markups on there. We've got loads of stuff. Even feel free to message me. I'm on there daily, you know, just making videos, trying to help you guys in general with risk management and all that good stuff. Make sure to check that out. I hope it has helped you. Check out my Instagram. Check out the free trades and all that good stuff. If you want to join the VIP, I do FTMO signals in there so you guys, you know, can get involved on that. Click on the bot. But it has been your boy TJ. Much love on the support. The channel's blowing up. It's, everything's going crazy. 120 plus members in VIP as well within a month. Let's go, baby. It has been your boy TJ. Much love on the support. Take it easy. Stay safe. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace.